Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky Filmy coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time daily uploads, bro. You know if you're not here on time. Now let me tell you, I ain't gonna do that to you. I ain't gonna do that to you. I'm gonna do this instead, which is even worse. I'm gonna give you a two-piece, bro. So you better be here on time. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Look, we got this video. It's called What the fuck is this video? Evil Babysitter Drowns Kid. Nigga, seriously, nigga? The most crazy is that I'm pretty sure things like this have actually happened, bro. But I'm doing too much blabbering. I got my Burger King headset, as you can see. You feel me? Let's get the video cooking. Ah! Ooh, that's cold. Well, you got to learn to swim in any temperature. Now put your hands in. Why the fuck would she do that? You're not gonna take that money from me, you little turd! <laughs> no, she looked evil, though. Should've learned to swim. Oh, oh look at you. Nah. <laughs> Good luck getting out. This is gonna be the biggest score yet. Have you figured out how much we're gonna make? Yeah, it's gonna be over half a million dollars. Are you sure we won't get caught? For what? Michael, this lady is totally clueless. I faked my resume and all my references are friends. So she thinks I'm one of the top babysitters in the country. Thank you, technology, for making it so easy to fool people. No, because, no, because, like, you really going, I mean, I understand you leaving your kids with strangers, right? But you want to hire the best babysitter in the country? Like, how the fuck do you even get a title like that? F by five stars? Oh, she gets a full of five stars. She's the best in the country. Nigga, what? You can't get a family member, you feel me, something random? No, I don't know. <laughs> Alright then, uh, I'll get everything figured out on my end, just let me know when everything's set on yours. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna go meet with them now, I'll talk to you later. And that even got scammed, she actually the worst in the country. She actually is a super villain. Mom, I don't understand why you have to hire a babysitter. I can take care of myself. I know you can, honey. But it's kind of against the law to leave a kid your age home alone. Fine. But I tell you what. If you can behave the two days while I'm gone, when I get back, get you the PS5 you were asking for. Really? Look, that nigga, look, that nigga, that nigga, mm, that nigga got excited, bro. You see how fast that nigga hopped up? I'll be happy too. Let me get that PS5 up out you, mama. You feel me? I would have been there. Yeah. I'll be my best behavior. She look like she high as shit. I bet that's the babysitter. Look at her eyes, bro. She bet that's the babysitter. She had, uh... Well, hello, Miss Davis. Good morning. Hi, Brenda. Good morning to you, too. Come on in. Wow, what a lovely apartment you have here. Oh, this is nothing. Thank you, though. And you must be James. I've heard a lot about you. About me? What have you heard? Well, my eyes. Well, your mom reached out to hire me. She asked if I'd like to take care of a very smart boy. She said you're very well behaved and don't get into any trouble. Really? She said that about me? Mm hmm So of course I had to say yes. Oh, and Brenda, I called those references. Everybody had amazing things to say about you. Oh, thanks, Miss Davis. I always try to do my best. People actually call references? All right, well, it looks like my flight leaves in 45 minutes, so I gotta get going. All right, honey, you know you can call me if you need anything though, right? Okay, mom. Don't forget about our deal. Oh, don't worry. You won't be receiving any complaints from Brenda. Yeah, that nigga finna be on his behavior. best, utmost, excellent boy. behavior for that PS5, uh, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I love you so much. Love you too, mom. Oh, and Brenda, please don't let him anywhere near the pool. He still doesn't know how to swim. Of course, Miss Davis. We will not go anywhere near the pool. When will you teach me how to swim, mom? Soon, hun. All right, well, I do have to get going. I ain't gonna lie. See you guys in two days. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I, I, um, I do fit the stereotype. I'm, I'm gonna learn eventually. I'm, I have to. I have to, bro. That's a necessity. You feel me? Especially if I be hanging out with white people. You know, y'all niggas like to get on boats and, and, and all that shit. I ain't doing no jumping off no damn cliffs into no water or nothing crazy like that. But I get on the boat, you know, might get in the water a little bit, you know, because you hang with the white dudes, that's what they like to do. You feel me? My white people, they like to get on boats and, and get drunk and all that shit. I can't swim, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Don't 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 laugh at me. I can't swim, bro. You feel me? I grew up in the hood. 
I mean, nobody had pools or anything, so how was I going to learn how to swim? You know? So I, I got to learn how to swim, bro, because, you know, y'all niggas like to get active on boats and shit. So I can't really ball my face up that he don't bye, know how to bye, swim. Bye, but I thought it was natural bye, for y'all niggas, bro. Not like me. You not me, bro. Your skin's a different color. That's not like you. That's not like you, bro. You got to get it together, my guy. All right, Brenda. Time for us to have some fun. We can watch a movie and order some pizza. How about you go to your room instead, you little twerk? But I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm not your friend. That nigga friend. said friends. I was just nice to your dumb, ugly mom. Damn! Trust me. Now go to your room before I get really mean. You can't do this. I'm calling my mom. Aw, too slow. I guess you can't tell on me now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's one thing. That's one thing that makes me so mad, bro. I know I'm older now, but when people are like, "Oh, you mad, bro," that really makes me want to just wanna. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That really works me up, bro. That and like if somebody spit on you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody spit on you, bro. I'm I'm going, bro. I might hit you with a weapon, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You spit on me, bro. Cause that's just so. It's these are your bodily fluids that you putting on me, bro. You might fucking give me some type of weird ass disease if you spit on me, bro. I'm gonna hit you with the hardest thing in the vicinity, my nigga. A brick. I might fucking hit you with a motherfucking iPhone charger, a glass bottle, anything. Extension cord, bro, I'm telling you. Bro, and don't come out until I tell you to. Is everything ready? Yes. Mom is gone and the kid is in his room. Okay. Let's get started. You didn't invite a fucking stranger into the house? All he about to rob the place. So what's the next move? Which is half a million dollars you're talking about? Well, I haven't really figured that out yet. What do you mean? Look, Michael, I did my research, okay? This lady is a real estate mogul. She made two million last year. There has to be money in this house somewhere. Just help me find it, okay? Okay. Bro, what a bunch of scums, bro. Alright, uh, can you check the drawers? Let me check the closet. Look at these niggas just scavengers, bro. Scavengers, I mean, savages. Found it. You forgot the key in the house? Where's the key? The key? I don't know where the key is. I thought you said you had this all planned out. I knew she was rich. I didn't know the money was going to be in a lockbox with a key. What do you think it was going to be? On the bed? Or the sign that says, here's the money. Stupid, Come stupid, it. bro. No, of course not. And you don't have to be so rude. Sorry. Luckily, I have experience with these things. Hey, that's what I'm doing. We're talking grown-up stuff. Now go back to your room. I can't stay there any longer. It's getting boring. And who is this guy? Yeah, who this random nigga in my house, bro? To my house. He's the maintenance man. There was a problem with the electricity, so I had to call him. Mm, what's that thing you're adding? Oh, nothing. It's just my toolbox I take to all my jobs. I feel like I've seen that before. Let's go to the pool. The pool? But I thought my mom said I couldn't go there because I can't swim. Oh, no worries. I'll teach you. Oh, my gosh, really? No way you really that gullible I after so she nice been nice acting nice. like. Oh, I was just having a bad day this morning, and I took it out on you. I'm really sorry, James. But hey, what do you say? Why don't you forgive me? Well, my mom says that we all make mistakes and that we deserve second chances. So I forgive you. Oh, thanks so much, James. Now go to your room and put your little swimsuit on, OK? Bro, you know what? You know, bro, me and my homie had this discussion, bro. Do y'all call do y'all call y'all swimming like your swim trunks and stuff a swimsuit? It's not a suit, bro. I feel like a swimsuit is the female term, bro, because it's like a one piece or they have like a two piece. We would just wear the shorts. So how is it a swimsuit, bro? It's swim trunks or swim yeah, so it's just swimming trunks, bro. It's not a swimsuit. You feel me? I know that was stupid, but think he knows? Oh, I think what do y'all call it? How long is this gonna take? 
I don't know. About an hour. That should work. Okay, I'm ready. Awesome. Well, let's just go to the pool. Come on, we'll leave the maintenance man here to fix things. Okay, so what's the first lesson? All right, first lesson, you gotta practice doing your arms like this. Like this? Yeah, great. Okay, keep doing that until I tell you you're ready for your next lesson. Okay. How am I doing? Oh, great. Now remember, we're doing this so you can learn to be safe around a pool. Right. Learn to be safe, learn to be safe, safe around a pool. Around oh, around pool. wait a minute. I know what that thing was. What thing? The thing the maintenance guy was trying to hide. What? Yeah, it's my mom's thing where she keeps all her money in. Hurry, we have to go stop him. Just because- you know what? You're ready for lesson two. Now this is the fun part. This is where you get to dip your feet into the pool. <gasps> yeah, yeah, dip your in feet in. Go. Nigga, you Ooh, come on, bro. You don't got cold. the IQ of a- well, you Bro, you don't have the IQ of a pigeon, bro. I believe in you, little Tommy. Tommy, I believe in you, bro. You feel me? She said safe and then it, some alarms went off in your head like, oh, that's my mom's safe. You feel me? That's a smart move right there. You can't let her distract you that fast, bro. Now you like, ooh, water. Let me deep dip my feet in. Like, nigga, come on, bro. Lock in. Come on, Tommy. I learned to swim in any temperature. Now put your hands in. Put your hands in. It's great. Nigga, what the f- <laughs> You are not going to take that money from me, you little turd. <laughs> Come on, you. dog. You don't know how to swim, bro. Come on, bro. That's not like you. That's not like your type, bro. That's not like your kind, I mean, bro. That's like my kind, you feel me? But y'all niggas, y'all, y'all can swim. You should you you suffer you suffer from WCS, bro. White and can't swim, bro. There's three things that I know y'all do. Y'all like boats and water and swimming. Y'all like golf and y'all like castle roll, bro. You feel me? Me? I'm actually a, a Michael Phelps type of nigga myself, bro. I be swimming type shit. You feel me? So what are, what are you doing? You know? And y'all know if I'm cracking the racist joke, of course, it's just a joke. You know, you know, come on. Don't cry in the comments, bro. Good luck getting out, twerp. Calling him a twerp is crazy. Is it open yet? Almost. Well, hurry. We don't have much time. What do you mean? Where's the little kid? I took care of him. Come on, focus. She's trying to catch a body over some money. I did. <laughs> <laughs> How much money is in there? <gasps> the rack aids. <laughs> <laughs> the rack aids is crazy, we bro. Are rich. <laughs> shoot him, shoot him. No, but what you are is under arrest. That's them, officer. The people who try to drown me and steal from my mom. He's lying. What happened? Shut up. Now get on your knees, put your hands behind your back, now! I was gonna start blasting, that's, that's me, but that's why I'm not a police officer. That's why I'm not a police officer. I was gonna start blasting, bro. How did you get out? Shoot you right in the kneecap, no. as soon as I walk in. I BOW! Don't, don't move! When you left me there drowning Sorry. in the pool, I was fighting for my life. But my mom told me never to quit, so I kept fighting. Eventually, I was able to get out and find a police officer, and I told him everything you were doing. Right, enough chit-chat. Now you're both arrested for attempted murder and robbery. Now you're both going to jail for- Now y'all ain't gonna never have no money, bro. Get up. Good job. Brenda and Michael were arrested and sentenced to jail for 20 years. After hearing what happened, Mrs. Davis flew back to be with her son. She apologized for putting him in that situation and promised him that she would never let that happen again. And of course, she decided to buy him a PlayStation 5, but he decided that he would rather get swimming lessons instead. It's very important that we were very Was that even a PlayStation 5 controller? PlayStation 5. But he decided that he would rather get swimming lessons instead. I don't think it was, bro. It's very important that we were very careful about who we let watch over our children. Because you never know what kind of person they really are. Thank you for watching this video. And be sure to share it with your friends and Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I told you this story before. But I used to go to... Um, I'm, I'm not gonna... You feel me? Because... This is a stays on the internet forever, so I'm not going to get too deep. But I remember I used to go to somebody's house, right? And they used to have a babysitter. And she was, I think she was like a teenager or whatever. And she used to show, she used to, and we was probably like eight years old, nine years old. She probably was like 16, 17, I think. And she used to show, show us her moves, bro. 
Crazy times, bro. Crazy times, bro. Crazy times. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.